This is my project. This project is about sound equipment. I guess it makes sense that I wear this thing um, to talk about those things. This morning, when I came into the, the event, and, and you were there as well, uh, on the stage and beside the stage and in different locations, you saw a technology being used to reinforce sound in a large space. Um, did you notice the speakers that come up like this in the front? Those are called line array speakers. And they were kind of pointed at the center of the room. I was sitting off on one of the wings, and I could hear very well, but it wasn't because they were coming out of the center speakers, but because of what was sitting beside of them. They had other wedges. Did you notice the wedges by the, uh, beside of the, the screens that were pointed out against, toward the, the wings? Did you notice those things? On the stage, did you notice a set of speakers on the stage pointed at the musicians? And we call those monitors. So those have a different title. Did you notice that he had two microphones, two condenser microphones on the stand? We saw them, they were kind of down low, but they were a different kind of microphone so they could actually pick up sound from there. And over the choir, did you notice how many microphones there were on the choir? So sound reinforcement is part of every event, every local event that we have, every event in our school, every, if you can't hear, there's a problem, right? With, within the, the, the presentation. Um, and you may not know this, this fact, but the, um, the people that run sound here at the Expo Center, uh, most of the time, and the group that's out here today, are actually from London, Kentucky. They're not local here in Pike County or Floyd County people to run that. So there is a need in our community for qualified sound technicians to run sound for events. Within our schools, there's a need for people to set up the sound in the gym for this presentation. I actually got a call this morning at 8.10 that, that Governor Paul Patton was going to be there at 8.30 and they needed sound. So I had to run over there and grab that right before I came over here. So um, there, there's a need for that in our community. So in order to address that need, I have general music classes. General music classes, which one of them is called music theory, is set up of students who do not want to know music theory. They're in there because they haven't taken another art and they have to have a credit by the time to graduate and they are not interested in Mozart. They are not interested in learning to write a scale. They're not interested in learning to read music because they will never ever in their life, probably, use that unless they <laughs> gain an interest later in life. So um, with those general music classes, these fellows right here and these ladies right here they kind of take the idea of doing something a little more than they take the idea of setting and learning how to compose a scale or um, use music theory in any way. So my question was, how might I incorporate a real world music technology unit in the general music classroom to help students gain 21st century skills and industry skills that they can actually go out and know something or work or help somebody at their church or help somebody to know how to use all those buttons. Um, the two components I decided to use was a live sound component because it's so necessary, live sound reinforcement like we have today. And then some recording technology. With technologies, um, on the iPad, I have two programs that are mixers and sliders and things and they can use simple technologies to um, record as well as run live sound from, um, from an iPad. So what we're doing now in these groups is they're learning about the different components, the mixers. We had them set it up in the room one day. I, I split them up into groups. Um, you guys are the microphone cord group. You guys are the microphone setup group. You guys are the mixer group. You guys are the speaker and monitor setup group. It was, it was really frightening for me. <laughs> but but it, was, it was interesting also. You know, the guys that set up the microphone on the drum, they put it on the bass drum. They had one microphone to get all the drums and they stuck it right against the bass drum. Like, okay, so do you want to hear all the drums or just the bass drum? I guess just the bass drum. Like, no! <laughs> you want to hear all the drums? They're all playing, come on. Um, so we, we had to fix a lot of those things. The monitors, those are the things pointed at the musicians. They had them pointed at the audience, right? So they, they, these are things that they're learning in process. So this project is to help them with live sound and recording technology to actually use some music. Are they learning music? Yes. They have to know what they're hearing to adjust the mixer. They have to know if, is the singer too loud there? Can I pull them down? Do I not hear a guitar? 
they have to ask a series of questions as they work with the product. So um, that is this project recording, um, recording progress is what we titled it. Any questions about it? Thank you all very much.